the coordinates of B, Q, and R is R minus 5, 8, and 3. So we'll draw the line here is 0. Now we have B minus 5. So this is B. And Q is 8. So let's say 8. This is Q. And R is minus 3. So minus 3 here. And R is minus 3. So R would be the middle of B, Q. So R is between B and Q. That's right. Q is between P and R. Wrong. P is between Q and R is wrong. P, R. This is BR, which distance is 2, equal to RQ. RQ here is 3, plus 8 is 11. Wrong answer. BQ, which is, we have 8, then 5, 13. Distance 13, equal to QR. QR here is 8, and 3 is 11. Of course, wrong answer. What reason justifies the statement if P is a midpoint of NQ? So we have... In Q, P is a midpoint, that means P in the middle, so NP will be equal or congruent, NP will be equal or congruent to BQ. So now this will be a transitive property, of course wrong, reflexive property, wrong, symmetric property, wrong. Now definition of midpoint of the segment, yes, it here mentioned that P is a midpoint, so the definition of any the midpoint that the distance will be equal, which is right for the segment, Definition of congruent segment is a wrong answer. Fill in the blank with the whole number. We have here if M is the midpoint of AP. So here this is the AP. The distance is 6. So mid M in the midpoint. So it will be in the half of the distance. So M will be in 3. So then the coordinates of M is 3. Here it will be 3. The distance 3 and 3. Refer to the diagram below to answer the question, which of the, of the following is true? Select to apply T is a midpoint of LG. Where is LG? This is LG. And the distance here, we have 1, then 3, so 4. And here is saying T is the midpoint. So the distance between G and T must be equal from T and L. So here is 2. And here is 2, this is the right answer. Now, me, B is the midpoint of LG, where is B? The B is here, it's not in the of LG, it's not in the same line, so wrong answer. L is the midpoint of GR, okay, L is the midpoint of GR, the distance for LR is 2, and the distance to GL we have here 1, and 3 is 4, so wrong answer. L is the midpoint of TR, this is L and TR, so the distance between L and T is 2, 1 and 2, and the distance between R and L is 2 also, so there's the right answer. P is the midpoint of LT, P is not in the same line of LT, so the wrong answer. Consider the following below, which of the following gives the correct reason for 1 and 2 being not vertical. Here, if you can see that, you can see that 1 and 2 can be vertical, but it will be, of course, will be wrong because the sides of the two angles, they are not opposite rays. For example, if I want to say they are vertical, that means the two sides has to be a pairs of rays. Here is not the same. So now let's see the, the answers. Their sides don't, per, don't form two pairs of opposite rays. That's right. Here it would be supposed to be one, two. Here it would be one ray, two ray, because they are not in the same way, the same direction. And we have three. So we have three opposite rays. But here it has to have the vertical. We have to have only two opposite rays. Okay. Now, they don't have a common side, wrong answer, they are not adjacent, wrong answer, they are both adjacent to angle 3, wrong answer, they have this joint interior, wrong answer also. Angle 1, angle 2, angle 3 are, are three right angles, so angle 1 will equal to angle 2, equal to angle 3, equal to 90. So let's select all that apply. That means measurement of angle 1 is 90, right answer. Measurement of angle 2 is, not, is 90, right answer. Measurement of angle 3, 180. No, it's 90, so wrong answer. Measurement of angle 1 will be equal to measurement of angle 2, equal to measurement of angle 3. Yes, because are three right angles. Here, measurement of angle 1 
plus measurement of angle 2 plus measurement of angle 3 is 180. No, 90 plus 90 plus 90 will be equal to 270. So this is the wrong answer. Measurement of angle SQR is equal to 15 and measurement of angle BQR 6x plus 45. Find F, X, F, angle BQR and SQR form a linear pair. Linear pair, that means in the same line and they will be equal to 180. So let's draw this one. We have SQR and BQR. So now we have here it will be like this one. We have S Q R, which is 15, and B Q R is 6 X plus 45, and they are in linear pair, so it will be one line. And the measurement of this was these two angle 180. So 6 X plus 45 plus 15 would be equal to 180. So here we have here 6x equal to, this one would be 180 minus 60, because these are 60. So 6x would be equal to 120 divided by 6 divided by 6, so x would be equal to 20. Okay, so the answer here is 20. Measurement of angle 1 to x plus 5, measurement of angle 2, x plus 13, find x if 1 and angle 1 and angle 2 are complementary, that means 90 degree. So angle 1 plus angle 2 equal to 90, 2x plus 5 plus x plus 13 will equal to 90, so 3x plus 18 equal to 90, 3x equal to 72, divide by 3, divide by 3, so equal to 24. So x here will equal to 24. Ax bisects angle BAC and measurement of angle BAC is 112. So 112. We have BAC and Ax bisects. So this angle will equal to this angle. So here we have the angle BAC. 112, so here it will be 65, 56, and here will be 56 also. Now, what is the value of y if BAX, this x, BAX, this is the angle, is 2y plus 6. So here we'll have 2y plus 6 equal to 56. 6 goes to the other side, so 2y equal to 50. Divide by 2, divide by 2, so y equal to 25. So the answer is 25. In the figure below, A, B, C are collinear. Collinear, same line. B, E bisects D, B, C. The B, E bisects D, angle D, B, C. So here is X, so this would be X also, because it bisects. What is the value of x? So we have here, this is a collinear, so all the angles here will be equal to 180. So 64 plus x plus x equal to 180. 2x so equal to 180 minus 64. So now we'll say 180 minus 64. So 2x will equal to 116. So divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, so x will be equal to 58. So the answer here is 58. Set A contains all whole numbers less than 100. Less than 100, that means below 100. That are multiple of 8. Which of the following represent a set A? Okay, so we have here, the answer is here. 0, it's okay, 0, okay, 8, wrong, because 0 is not there, and 0 is okay. 8 wrong also. Now let's see the last number and try to divide by 8 for the, all the numbers and check. So 96 divided by 8 here, that means 12. And 80 divided by 8 is 10. 69 is, this is wrong, we said, because there is no 0. 88 is 11. And here is wrong. So which one? We have the first one because the last number, 96, is a multiple of 8. Okay. 
Now part B set B contains all the whole number less than 150 that are multiples of 50. So fill in the blank with the missing numbers. So now we have here less than 150. So 150 divided by 50 is 150 divided by 50 is 3. So here the B would be starting from 0 because the whole number and we have 50 that means 50 multiply 1 is 50 and 50 multiply 2 is 100. 50 divide 3 it will be 150 but with 150 is less than he didn't say less than equal so the last one will be 100. For CE questions some of the questions I didn't answer but you can find them in these two videos which already the channel MGH03 and MGH14 for week 4. Which of the following statement is true? Select all that apply. We have 2 power of 4, 4 power of, power of 4, power of 2. So this will be 4 power of 2. So this 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. This is the right answer. This one 2 power of 4, power of 2. Wrong answer. This one also would be wrong answer. Now here six power of two all power of minus two. So this one would be wrong because this would be six minus power of minus four. This one would be minus six minus four, right? But minus six, no, it would be one over six over four. So this wrong answer. Here this one would be the right answer. Convert three point 24 into a ratio of two integers into the answer as a fraction in the lowest term. So this one 3.24 this two two decimal two decimal digits. So it will be three two hundred four over one hundred. Okay. So to simplify this one, let's divide this by four, it will be twenty-five, and divide this by four, it will be equal to eighty-one. So the answer would be 81 divided 25. For CE questions, some of the questions I didn't answer, but you can find them in these two videos, which already in the channel, MGH03 and MGH14 for week 4. Simplify and express the answer in exponent form, fill in the planks, 7 power of 1 multiply 7 power of 5 the base is right is the same so it will be 7 power of 6 17 power of 9 multiply 17 power of 9 the base is the same 17 and 17 so power 9 9 plus 9 will be equal to 18 here we have 3 power of 1 multiply 3 power of 5 so it will be 3 power of 6 and 7 power of 4 multiply 7 power of 4, so it would be 7 power of 8. And here we have 11 power of 1 multiply 11 power of 5 multiply 11 power of 4, so it would be 11 power of 10, because we will add the exponent here. Select the correct option from the H drop down menu to make the comparison true. Here, 7.36 multiply by 10 power of minus 4 and 2.01 multiply power of minus 3 so let's check here the power and it's one decimal point and here one decimal point so here minus 3 of course is bigger than minus 4 so that means that this number will be less than this number now here is is the opposite here we have 3.05 one decimal point here 5.03 one decimal point but here we have 10 power of 7 and 10 to the power of 6 and 7 is bigger than 6, so it would be bigger. For CE questions, some of the questions I didn't answer, but you can find them in these two videos, which already in the channel, MGH03 and MGH14 for week 4. For CE Questions, some of the questions I didn't answer, but you can find them in these two videos, 
which already in the channel MGH03 and MGH14 for week 4. What whole number is equal to 4 divided by 5 power of minus 2? So 5 minus 2 power of 2 will go to the, the nominator. So it will be 4 multiply 5 power of 2. So 4 multiply 25 is equal to 100. So the answer is 100. What is the value of x in 5? power of minus 2 minus x and this one the denominator here x 5 power of x so we put it in the denominator so it will be 5 minus x equal to 5 power of 16 so 2 minus 2x equal to 16 so we'll go to the other side so minus 2x equal to 14. So divide by minus 2, divide by minus 2. So x will be equal to minus 7. So the answer is minus 7. What is the number is equal to 6 power of 3? Multiply 4, this power of 1. Divide by 6 power of minus 1. So put it in the denominator. So it will be 6 multiply of 1 and 4 power of 3 in the denominator. So we'll go to the up. So it will be multiply 4 minus 3. So this one, 6 power of 4, multiply this one here plus. So it will be 4 power of minus 2, be equal to 6 power of 4 divided by 4 power of 2 which is this one is 16, okay? So let's divide this one, 6 power 4. That means 6 multiply 4 times. Divide by 16, it will be equal to 81. So the answer is 81. What is the value of x in 10 power of x multiply 10 power of 4? The base is same, so it will be x plus 4 equal 15. Okay, we'll take this one because the base are equal. So 4 will go to the other side, so x will be equal to 11. So the answer is 11. For CE questions, some of the questions I didn't answer, but you can find them in these two videos, which already in the channel, MGH03 and MGH14 for week 4. Let's simplify this one. So 5 over 4, all power of minus 2. So to make, to, to remove the minus sign, so we'll flip. The number so it would be 4 over 5 power of minus 2 so this one would be 16 over 25 for this one the same it would be 7 power of 3 which would be equal to 3 4 3 same thing for here we have here minus 2 okay let's multiply here with minus 2 because power so it would be 2 power of 4 Divide by 3 power of minus 2, multiply minus 2, it will be 3 power of 4 also. So 2 power of 4 will be equal to 16, and 3 power of 4 equal to 81.